I remember when I was a kid, I used to smear eyeliner all over my eyelid. Never mind that I had massive dark circles, but just having that eyeliner on my face made me feel invincible. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Nidhi Topiwala and this is my first ever YouTube video. So for today's video, I'm going to talk to you about eyeliners. I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know right from the kind of eyeliners that you can use and how you can use them. I'm also going to give you tips and tricks that can make your life easy when it comes to your eyeliner application. <laughs> So today we're going to start with talking about the different type of eyeliners that are available to us today. The reason being that there are so many different kind of eyeliners and so many different formulations that you can choose from. I'm going to make your life a little bit easier by explaining each of these eyeliners and what would be the best for you to begin with. The number one eyeliner I want to talk about is the pencil eyeliner. Now this is number one on my list because it is the easiest to use. And it is also very, very easy to take off in case you do end up messing up a little bit with it. So this is a very forgiving eyeliner. And if you are a beginner, I recommend that you start with a pencil eyeliner. The number two product that I would want to talk about is the sketch pen eyeliner, which again gives you a lot of control over your application, just like the pencil. But it also gives you a little bit more of a liquid liner finish, if that is the kind of finish that you like. The finish is also a, a little bit more crisper than the pencil eyeliner. So the third product I want to talk about is the liquid eyeliner. Now this is obviously a very popular product and for good reason. It gives you a really clean finish and it makes you look very very on point. But it is a little harder to use if you are a beginner because it doesn't give you the same kind of control a pencil eyeliner would potentially give you. So the fourth one I want to talk about is the gel eyeliner. Now this is one of my personal favorites because it is so versatile. It gives you the finish of a liquid liner but it also gives you the control of a pencil. I also really like it because within the gel eyeliner family you do get a lot of different kind of formulations. Some are slightly smoother, some are little less. So depending on what you are comfortable with you can choose a formulation that can work for you. I also really like that they are smudge proof so it is a non-messy situation even if you are wearing it all day long. So if you are a beginner or if you are someone who regularly uses eyeliner, this product can work for both. This is also versatile and so you can use it as thicker eyeliners, you can use it as a smoky black eyeliner, you can also use it as a little bit more of a smoked out eyeshadow situation. So for all these reasons, this is one of my most favorite products and I do recommend that you try it out. Let's talk brushes. Using a brush is going to give you even more control over how your eyeliner is going to turn out. For example, if you're using an angled brush, it's going to give you a much more sharper and a more finished look, even if you are using a pencil. Another brush that I really like is the basic eyeliner brush. This is nice and thin and the bristles are super soft, so it can give you a little nicer finish. Another brush that I also really like is a thicker version of the same. This brush will really give you a lot of um, volume in your eyeliner. So what it's going to do is that it's going to thicken up your eyeliner without you having to redo it over and over again. Because I realize, and this has happened to me a lot of times, I will put eyeliner on one side and then go ahead with it on the other side and they both are of different sizes because the brush that you're using is too small to accurately give you the kind of thickness you want in your eyeliner. So the best thing you can do for that is use a thicker brush. Another eyeliner brush that I really like is this angled eyeliner brush. Now this is something that I had not even seen or heard of before I started my makeup school. But I really like it because of this angled tip. It makes it very easy to get into the corner of your eye. It also makes it much more easy to apply your eyeliner or do touch-ups once you have curled and put mascara on your eyes. So that makes it a very handy thing to have. That being said, obviously this is not something that you know is a must-have but it is nice to have this kind of a brush to help you get a little bit more of a cleaner finish. I hear a lot of people say that eyeliner doesn't suit me, I don't like to put eyeliner Sometimes people are like, oh my god, I really like how eyeliner looks on other people, but I don't like it on myself. And the thing is that that's not always true. Of course, sometimes we're not just not used to seeing ourselves with eyeliner. 
but there are a lot of other shades of eyeliner other than black that you can try out if you feel that you are one of these people. In my collection, I have a lot more browns and greys than I do black because I too am one of those people who always feels like eyeliner might not always be the thing to go to. But you want something that will define your eyes and shape your eyes really well. So you opt for a slightly less sharp and slightly less bold option like a brown or a grey or even you know deeper shades of greens and blues look really nice and flattering on a lot of people. These are some of my favourite colours that I use pretty regularly that are not black. I'm going to show you two neat tricks that are going to change your eyeliner game forever. So number one trick is how to use a pencil and a brush together. Like I mentioned earlier, this is going to change the way you use pencils. So first off, you take the pencil colour of your choice. This is a black that I'm using currently and I'm using the angled brush for this. I'm using this because I want like a really nice thin eye to define my eyes, not really to draw too much attention to it. So let's get started. So we take the product on the brush like this and you'll be surprised that the product actually does come out of the brush. I was the first time I tried this. Once you know you have enough product on the brush, just dab a little bit off on your hand so you know that you're not getting too much product on your eyes at the first go. Remember, you can always build it up but you can't take it down. I mean you could but it's really hard and why do you want to do that when you can take the easier way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest my hand on something so that my hand is stable enough and simply create a marking for where I want my eyeliner to go. Because of the width of this brush, it makes it very easy for me to create this slightly lifted uh, eyeliner shape for the outside of my eyeliner. The rest is pretty simple, you just fill everything in. A lot of people pull their eyes and try to do eyeliner. I find that this is not going to give you the correct, um, you know, shape for your eye. It's best to get used to using a pencil or a brush without fidgeting with your eyelid too much. Try different angles for this. That really does help. So that's the kind of eyeliner I would like to create for this look. And it is simple, but it looks nice. It's lifted, it gives a little bit more definition to my eyes, to my face, but at the same time, it's not too extra. Another nice thing that you can do is, you can quickly do this as a baseline for using a liquid liner or using a gel liner. So what you do is, you simply create this shape and go over it with a gel or a liquid. Much like how you are taught drawing in school, you first start with a pencil and then you go in with a sketch pen to make it, you know, from rough to fair. Similarly, what you're doing here is you're drawing a line with a pencil and then once you know that it's right and this is the shape you want, you just quickly go over it with either a gel liner or a liquid liner. So I'm just going to quickly show you how you can use your own brush and a liquid liner over the pencil we just did. And I like to use my brush because my brush does not change even if the type of liquid liner I am using changes. So at least my technique does not change. So I'm just taking a thin brush as you can see uh, to kind of go over exactly where we did the pencil. So this is going to give you a, again like a liquid look but you are more in control of what you're doing because you already have drawn an outline with a pencil of exactly what you want to do. So for the second trick, I'm going to show you how you can perfect your winged eyeliner. Now this is something called micropore tape and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put it in the angle that I want my winged eyeliner to go and use that as a marking for it. I have seen a lot of people do this on Instagram recently where they're using band-aids and they're using cello tapes. The tape that I'm using is called a micropore tape 
and uh, it's something you get at any medical store it comes in this little packaging and uh, it's very easily available anywhere that you are and that is what you need to use because this is safe for your skin you don't want to be putting you know any random cello tape on your skin so i'm going to cut out a piece obviously i will take not a very big piece because you don't need that big of a marking there's another size that you get which is i believe half of this so if you prefer a thinner tape then you can get that one as well be really careful when you are putting this on your face because you want the line which is straight to come and not from where you have cut it because that might not be very straight and that defeats the purpose of this and before you put it on your face this is what you will do so you're taking off as much of the glue and gum as you can so when you remove it it's not pulling on your skin okay so we are ready to put this since I've done this on this eye, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it on the other eye I'm going to place this very carefully right where I want my wing to sit and there you go I'm not going to stick it all the way down because I don't need to. I'm going to use my thick liner brush and my gel liner for this. Obviously, I don't go out looking like this. So I'm using a gel liner for this because, like I said, I like the control that it gives. It is one step more difficult than maybe the pencil liner, but it is still easy. I'm using a gel liner which has a little bit more control, which means that it's not too extra smooth. So it's not going to be that hard for a beginner to try it out as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with marking a line right where the tape is. And I'm not afraid of doing this because if at all I go off like line, I'm going onto the tape and not onto my skin. There you have it. I've made the mark. I personally like to take off my uh, tape and then do the rest of it. But you can choose to leave it on if you are comfortable with it. I personally am not. And I do like to just stick it on, make my line, take it off. I, I just feel like that's way easier. See, this is what happens. It kind of pulls onto your skin. So it's nicer if you um, take off a little bit of the glue before you start doing this. And now I'll just... And we are just filling this in. Like I mentioned earlier, when you're making a thick eyeliner, Using a thicker brush is going to make your life easier and it's just going to help you get a better shape much faster. I'm just filling all this in. I have to take little little product at a time so that there's not a blob of product on my face. This can take a second longer but in the long run, it's much easier than wiping off your entire eye. There you go. This is a much easier way to do it. I'm just going to quickly fill in the rest of my eye, this one, uh, with this brush. And this is what I mean by like, it, this is a really handy, nice to have brush. So again, I'm going to get some product on it. And I'm just going to go in this way. This is going to help me get into the corner of my eye. So this just goes a little bit over my lashes and onto my eyelid. So there you go. Two different eyeliners with two different techniques that are both pretty easy and much faster than what I would be able to do without these techniques. And I do believe that if you try these, you will see that it is much easier to do. And I just don't believe in making things harder for yourself. So I still do this, even though I've been putting eyeliner since such a long time. I just find it much quicker, much easier, and I don't have to worry about messing things up. However, if I do mess up, I keep some earbuds and some micellar water handy to be able to correct anything, you know, that goes off or goes wrong. So I'm going to show you how to make it look even crispier, even sharper by using a concealer to just go over the outline. Now, usually what I try to do is, or like to do rather, is that I'll do my brows, I'll do my eyeliner, then I will do my eyeshadow, then I will go over my eyeliner after all of my makeup is over, just to kind of make sure it is clean and it is nice, because obviously once you put eyeliner and then go over it with eyeshadow, it's going to 
merge some of those bits when you do mess up because there are times that you are going to sometimes you're in a rush or sometimes maybe you know you're just not having a good day so you are bound to mess up we are all humans so it's just easier to do it in that order because if you don't have any eyeshadow on your face and if you don't have you know any other makeup it is much easier for you to clean up an eyeliner than if you did have a lot of makeup on your face because you'd have to go through the whole process of doing all of it again but in the case that you have already done it like i have to do for the purpose of this video i'll just go ahead and take a little bit of concealer and clean up the eyeliner this is looking a little patchy right now but don't worry don't worry take a earbud and just merge that concealer so that it doesn't look too obvious so there you have it these are the two easy tricks that i use and that i have learned and that can be of benefit to everybody because anybody at any stage whether you are a beginner who has just literally picked up an eye pencil today and started or someone who's been doing this for years can benefit from these techniques so yeah on a normal day i would probably not go out like this i'm much much more likely to do this eyeliner and most of the time i'm also just using a pencil to do it i don't go over it with you know a liquid liner personally i just do think that if you were to start off with a liquid liner or if you do like a liquid eyeliner this is an easy way to start because you it, it's really really hard to mess this up trust me once you try it you'll know what i'm talking about and uh, like i mentioned before i usually like to do my eyeliner first if i know that i'm going to be doing an eyeliner look um, mostly this one i would definitely go with a eyeliner first and then start with the rest of my makeup this just makes it easier for any cleanups any messes in case that does happen and that does happen sometimes so it's uh, totally all right um you can just take it off and put it back on and you're not messing up any of your other makeup because you haven't really put it on so there you have it guys everything that you need to know about eyeliners i hope that that was a lot of information and useful information for you i spoke about the different kind of eyeliners i spoke about the different kind of brushes i spoke about how different colors can be used especially if you're not someone who really likes to have too much on your face or if you think that eyeliner doesn't suit you i'm sure you have changed your mind now if not i hope you will once you try some of these tips and tricks the two tips that i shared are the things that i actually do in my daily life because i don't like things to be complicated and difficult but i still like to do those things like eyeliners for example i see a lot of people who just freestyle eyeliners and these are people who probably put eyeliners every single day or have like really practiced it but i don't have the patience for it i think if a quick trick can help me out i'm going to use it and i hope that you will too and that you have enjoyed watching this video i have had a lot of fun creating it i love talking about makeup and i am here to share all my information with you guys i would love if i could you know hear back from you and if you could share what you thought about it that would really help me create a lot of good content i have some more videos coming up so i hope you enjoy those as well and be sure to like comment subscribe and share this with people who you think are going to be benefited from these tips and tricks so bye for now and see you in the next video <laughs>